Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are taking a look at uh, Destiny 2, the final shape developer gameplay preview. Uh, these uh, types of uh, developer gameplay videos that Bungie puts out are always, they always gets you hype for what they are bringing in the next chapter. Uh, Destiny to me is a game I played uh, since it came out. I played the beta and um, loved it ever since. I've done uh, most of the raids. I've uh, been a hardcore fan of this game. Uh, recently though, the game has kind of tipped a bit down for me. Um, I think it was... Uh, the, the, ex the expansion or the DLC before um, Witch Queen. I think it, I think we were on Europa, e Europa, with the Black uh, Blackstone Crypt. Um, I did a raid and then I I didn't feel the need to play anymore. Uh, I've been keeping up though, sort of. I haven't I haven't really been I haven't been playing myself, but I've been keeping up with the story and. Uh, What's been happening with the witness and um, the precursors, uh, which basically are sort of the same, but before and after. I'm really excited to learn about uh, what's happening inside the traveler, what the traveler is, uh, where it came from, where it, what it is basically, uh, because what we know now is that the traveler is. The gardener uh, wants to shape life, which we see every time the traveler visits a planet. Every planet gets a golden age, uh, blossoms up in uh, everything, and uh, everything becomes amazing. But when the gardener leaves and leaves the place unattended, the plant falls apart. Uh, to see with the elixir and uh, the hive. I believe the traveler was at the high planet. I might be mistaken there. I think it was at the high planet uh, on the fundament. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, as of right now, um, I do want to play Final Shape. I do, but I don't know if I'm going to play it when it comes out. Uh, because June is so packed full of games. Um, the Elden Ring DLC is coming out. Uh, Minecraft update might coming come out as well. And then this comes out. Um, so we'll see. Uh, of course, we're going to watch the video and see how hyped they get me. Uh, judging by their previous developer uh, uh, videos, they uh, had before each DLC, uh, I'm most likely going to jump in and play it. Okay, this is almost 20 minutes long, then let's just jump in and watch it. And uh, uh, leave a like, uh, leave a comment about what you think uh, about Destiny and what your favorite part of Destiny is, what you think what will happen in the final shape. And subscribe if you like what I do, and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, enjoy the reaction. Okay, darkness inside the traveler, of course. Why is that? What is that bomb? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? Is it? Still so blurry. And uh... Wait, 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 what? What is he's changing some just what? 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 What just happened? 
We are going into the pale hearts of the traveler and the traveler has chosen you, the guardian, to be its champion. It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept artists <laughs> early on created this very evocative <laughs> image of a guardian Whoa. with light armor and dark Whoa, armor. Oh, that is we badass. really need this in the final shape. This is the ultimate form of being a guardian to wield light and darkness at the same time. We built oh. Prismatic exactly to be that. Prismatic is the new subclass in the final shape where you can combine certain class abilities whoa, from different damage whoa, whoa, types whoa, whoa. together. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. PvP is like going to be a mess. Manipulating the energies <laughs> like this, but the witness is not a master of light and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. In Prismatic, underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once oh. both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling Transcendence. I love Transcendence because you do these cool so motions. For Warlocks, we have... Just a quick... So it's kind of like uh, if you ever play World of Warcraft, uh, Druid have... Uh... Uh, in the balance tree, you have a uh, solar and eclipse, um, where you do uh, damage in certain type. It goes over to the other side, and when it goes over, you do more damage with that that type of spells. Seems kind of like that system. And this cool like mystic pose. Hunters are gonna do this cool like the Titan one where you just go. <laughs> While you're transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. Whoa, the hunters whoa, whoa. get this fire and ice combo. Titans, Strand, and Arc. For the Warlock, Stasis, and Void together. Oh, that is so you have badass. a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence, so you can loop them together, one after the other. That's really exciting. That is so good. We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, oh more potential combinations, more fragments than you it's normally get, at more fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. That is a lot of combinations. 2,000. 300 no i'm just kidding I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know i'm just the art director i think that prismatic feels like you are doing combinations you shouldn't be able to do it feels a little game breaking i'm not gonna lie a, a little a little bit Did you say that there's no pvp is gonna be insane you're broken. gonna be like oh no what have i done i'm gonna be here all night it's going to be a massive mess of building uh, the Oh, by the way, I'm a, I'm a Hunter main. I, I don't play the other classes. Just Hunter. It's not just about the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about it's using multiple powers at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert in really interesting ways. We're transcending kind of the, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these subclasses that really resonate with people. And now you can finally combine those and make your own guardian feel very uniquely you. This like really opens up the doors for unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter and having yes. gunpowder gamble and blowing them up. And then we're like, oh, wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You could throw out, you know, your shurikens Ooh. and then you blow them up as well. And it's like, okay. I didn't think I could ever do those two things at the same time. I'm a, you're and you're telling me I can do as much as I want? You can throw a withering blade melee and like bounce so it between a bunch of to be... people and get like three kills from one melee and now your gunpowder gamble is like fully charged, right? And so, like, certain interactions, I think, get a lot easier <laughs> just because we've sort of made the aspects I'm a little bit to be more permissive, a little, bit, uh, a little bit looser. So I think when we play test, I'm probably going to be running probably Warlock with um, this, the Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges, and then you combine that with Lightning Surge. Oh, you can throw insane. Bleak Watcher on top of that for just, like, a little extra crowd control, or you can throw Devour. And so you're, you know, jumping in, lightning surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating Devour. You 
that you never die. infinite sustain effectively to stay in the fight. As a titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies Imagine around the you and then kind of finish them off with of like the cool blades of strand. And it's so satisfying to see how fast you move. It's a very like fun, destructive build that you can just like destroy everything around you and it, it, it's super fun. There was this moment for me where I was like, wait a minute, I could send out threadlings and have a bleak watcher it just creates these moments of escalation within the combat and i think that's really exciting for me if you combine bleak watcher and feed the void you consume your grenade to throw your bleak watcher out there and so it's you know locking stuff down with stasis doing crowd control you can clean that stuff up pretty easily with you know an arcane needle melee which has three charges those ability kills will activate Devour, which gives you more grenade energy every time Devour activates, so it lets you loop your Bleak Watcher. And so you can have like it's multiple insane. Bleak Watchers out in the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just like launching your cool strand. How would I go to balance this? Everything's the dying, fight? it's great. Like in the raid. Embracing the challenge of like, how do we. Like, like the witness has to be, have some sort of ability to block out certain. Uh, certain um, light or darkness like now we can only use dark now we can only use lightning or my light powers having them both at the same time and like he explained there to sending out those stuff that witness is going to be stun locked from a warlock alone make stuff that wasn't initially <laughs> intended to like work together in the same build like how do we twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that to make them work together i'm excited about you know, seeing uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations. I'm just looking forward to all the, the videos that people make of their own custom builds with their own exotics that they're pairing it up with to create like this, these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me. Uh, and I'm, oh, I'm really excited about that. Sounds so much fun. final shape we're going to be making these new exotic class items these new exotic class items allow you to steal perks from other exotics and oh. combine two perks together oh. into one single exotic the perks that come on them are actually what random rolled one thing that is going to be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work really well Okay, but uh, I've heard, uh, like like I said, I haven't been playing this much, but I, I've heard that uh, since I added a crafting system in uh, the Witch Queen, I think it was, um, they basically done it so every piece of uh, weapon you can get in the game is also craftable. I hope they go away from that system because if everything is craftable, then where's the chase? You mean you see what I mean? I you know, like here if uh, this is a gear piece, though not uh, a weapon piece, but uh, if if there's a weapon I want and I can just craft it, the 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 chase of it is gone. So I really hope that I sort of pivot away from. I don't mind having crafting, but don't take away the chase. Don't take away the gameplay. Don't take away the reason to go out and do stuff yeah. these new class items are all about prismatic and making that feel good 
So it's gonna be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence does. They also look so good. With these class items, we wanted them to stand out as so special. Uh, they have these two perk columns that take terraforming. aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are going to need you things. Terrestrial. Other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow them down, blow them up hunter build a roll on the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite. And also, I could get an extra dodge charge, so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. We want it to feel a little broken. Yes. It definitely felt like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. We want that to feel like you're bending the rules a bit. Okay, so, sorry for pausing, but uh, the new exotic lets you combine other exotic into one. Is it just two? Do we know if maybe they explain it, but is it just two you can choose from? Or is it uh, you get one item and then you can pick perks from all other items as long as you find those other items? Because right now it seems like you get the you get the piece, armor piece, and then in that armor piece there is there are two uh two random perks already in that one. You can't get new ones from another place, if that makes sense. It just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta. They look oh, no, amazing. Made. They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. But on top of that, the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics and even from classes that aren't you adds this element what, of what? spice to them and the fact that it's random rolls you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for okay, your build yeah. okay. explain it <laughs> Dread are this new witness faction. Oh, new enemies. When you see these new characters, not only do they look unique and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years that connects it all together. Nice. Nice. You've seen a member of the Dread before. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance yeah. last year. I remember the Tormentor. Well, that was just the first one. Yeah, no, I didn't play... No, that's right. I played... Uh, not Europa. The one with the Neon City where you have Strand. Uh, that was the last one I played. Sorry, I mixed them up. Not Europa, but uh, where you get the Strand one. On one of the moons of... Titan? No, Titan is a moon. I don't remember the name, sorry. <laughs> you have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. This is like the embodiment of the Witness in these new enemies. But that's like the silhouette we had in the console The Grim is Repose probably game. one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. It's this oh bat with a gun. Oh, the gun bat, so yes, exactly. <laughs> it does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. 
It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. They can uh, screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows you down. Uh, Something immediately have appealed to the them. team and made us think we uh, have to do this. Robots? We have to make this character. Well, not the wings, but they fly. The husk is this melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous looking blades, and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. Oh, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> They hurt. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons, and they just come charging with those things, and we'll just slice and dice. They are really dangerous, especially in groups. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful, because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk, the geist is going to pop out, and it's going to seek whoa. you out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the geist like has killed me uh... more than I care to admit. Now I've I'm worked? like looking everywhere every time I go into a fight, and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> the weaver and the attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the witness. We wanted yeah, to yeah, so show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. The fact it's that gonna you be can so get annoying. suspended and frozen in place <laughs> just adds a big new dynamic to the nice. fight. The Weaver does something we've never done before. It'll shoot out this complete, powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. So because it pulls back and like snaps and that like pulls you Sorry. towards that character. So because As we... one character doing that to you, Explored yeah, you can handle it. As soon as there's multiple characters strand, trying to pull you in different directions towards you, been able you to have to approach it in a different well. way. We're really excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape. It just feels like there's a really cool through line through all of this. The environment looks so it's good. It's the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. I'm, so, I'm excited. I might play this when this game out, come out after all. <laughs> we need to go. Keep moving. Go. The witness brought darkness into the Traveler to turn their threat into our annihilation. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. We have to collect new fragments again. Or do we get get them by like that? been a lot better if it said make your own shape <laughs> Yay. Oh, I'm excited I'm so excited pyramid ship nice launch 
trailer. I'm not going to play this, but we'll watch it. <clears throat> As the final shape approaches, and the forces of the witness surge at the borders of the city, Lord Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard All right, uh, to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection creation. back into circulation. Powerful gear for a powerful guardian. I heard. Uh, uh, originally, the, these weapons were supposed to be time gated for each week uh, towards the final shape, but the fan base got so uh, not mad, but uh, so invested in it that they okay, they got they got disappointed because the weapons that the, that we will get in into the light is already is weapons from before, but brought in again. From the sunset, and I agree. Well, why, why, why time gate weapon we already had access to before? Just if 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 there were new weapons, I could see it, but all the weapons coming back again as new, don't don't time gate it like that. So they they went back on it and said, uh, I, I think they said, uh, uh, you you will be able to get all weapons by the end of April, I think. Or early May. Good luck. Careful with that. Weapons we once deemed heretical, we now see as desperate measures. I know you'll use this well. Fight well. Pushing back buys us only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. I can't wait to see what you do with that. Oh, I never had that blade. I want that blade. Magnificent. Nice. Ah, the whisper is back. Nice. It's time, Guardian. Crush them. Let them come. Show me what you've got! So if the enemies of humanity want war, let's give them war. I did uh, react to the first one of this, uh, by the way. Uh, and I talked about a new... A new... This thing. Right, I am uh, officially <laughs> excited again. I, I was excited, but I'm... More excited now than I was, having been able to wield different uh, power sources is. It's going to be a lot, but it's going to be a super fun. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do as a hunter now. I really like Strand being able to zip around like uh, Spider Man, and then uh, use Stasis, for instance. To no, that's. That's the same. Stasis and Strand is darkness. Um, zip around like uh, Spider-Man and maybe throw. Or was it? Was it, or was it just? What did What did you say? I'm not sure if it's locked to having like a hunter have only Strand and uh, fire, uh, not fire, uh, sun. Solar, sorry, sorry, solar, and uh, and uh, now warlock have uh, arc and um, and darkness, uh, no no stasis. Uh, I hope it's not locked because I would love to love to be like strand and arc, for instance, or strand and uh, and void. Void is my favorite uh, subclass. Um. Yeah, I'll uh, update you guys further if I'm going to play this or not. Uh, or not. Uh, I will be playing it on uh, my Twitch channel. Uh, I might do episodic uh, parts where I react to the story. No, no not react, but I, I play the story and then I upload it to YouTube. Um, without, without edits, just pure gameplay. Um, yeah, uh, again, like I said before the video, tell me what you think. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.